Well, the families of mental health patients that died or were jeopardized by being moved out of life as at many last year have given their own report back. Following the Feb Ombudsman's report orders and government's action thereafter, families are not responding on the progress. They have briefed the media on how well they have been included in decisions and steps taken about their relatives. However, these families have sounded their dissatisfaction with the slowness in finalizing the contracts with service providers and neglect to change the whole team working on this mental health relocation case. With the contracts not being finalized, given that the move um, started already in uh, March, is, is that, um, for example, one, uh, some of these users don't have adequate clothing in the facilities and um, it becomes then difficult to challenge their facility because they don't have an SLA in place. And uh, also they don't have um, enough OTs uh, in the facilities which are very much needed to actually rehabilitate um, the users and, 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 and try and bring them um, and, and bring back their normal lives. And also um, it puts um, these live, the lives of these users at, at risk somewhat uh, because um, how do they then account if something goes wrong in these facilities when the contracts are not in place. So now the question is, um, how do you expect your plant to produce fruit when the worms are still eating the root? So it's, it, it's something we have brought to their attention that they need to remove these people. As, uh, because what we have um, come to understand is that they've just been moved, but within the health department still. So you can't expect to have those people who had this thing happening under their watch.